Hello everybody and welcome to Janisha Colors. This time around, I thought it would be nice to talk about what my plans are for this year in my art journey. I have a handful of things that I want to do and I'm trying to do my best to make it a point to meet all my art goals for this year. But before I get into that, I thought I'd share my process on this particular piece. I went out New Year's Eve with a couple of my friends and then we went to a nearby park so that we could see fireworks. A family visited the park and they had paper lanterns and me and my friends are like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. They're lighting up paper lanterns and they're sending them off with their wishes. And <laughs> The family was so nice enough to give us paper lanterns to send off ourselves and so it was just such a wonderful little new year experience. I always loved the little scene from Tangled where they send off the paper lanterns and it was beautiful. So we sent off a few. I'll actually attempt to find a picture of when I was sending them off. I, um, we all tried to take pictures with the lantern before it caught on, <laughs> before we burned our little fingers, but, um, we sent them off and it was just such a great little experience, and so I decided to use that as my inspiration for my first piece of the year. So, this character is essentially sending off these paper lanterns floating off into the sky. That's what I felt like doing. <laughs> so, I guess one of the trickiest things about this piece was that was her, well not really her hair. I really wanted to try a different hairstyle than what I'm used to. And so I ended up going with curly hair. But I didn't want it to just be completely curly. So she has little, little bantu knots at the front of her hair really a really fun little style I thought and so I went with that and at first when I sketched it and lined it the curls were a little on the wavy side and I'm like no 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 I gotta do this again and make it curly like coily curly so <laughs> I fixed it and then when I got to coloring her hair and her skin I started with it being blonde, and I'm like, wait a minute, she kind of looks like Beyonce a little. And I'm like, oh, I don't want her to look like Beyonce. Let's pick a different color. So I ended up changing my color for her hair. It wasn't a super bright pink. It's a pretty, I'm used to seeing super bright pinks, but this is actually a pretty calm, or well, a pretty, pretty muted pink. But I think it worked out perfectly for this. I also, another thing, it wasn't necessarily a challenge, but it is something that I'm doing, is I wanted to make it a point to give her some snazzy shoes. Because, you know, everybody likes to dress up for the new year. Those were probably the key things that were kind of, not necessarily difficult, but a little tricky for me when I was completing this piece. I also really wanted to have multiple sources of light. I'm pretty good when it comes to doing my shadows and values and shading and such with multiple light sources, but it's always good to keep practicing it. That pretty much sums up about the key things that I did when I was working on this piece. Now. Over the span of this year, I really want to hone my art skills and better present myself as an artist. And so I have a handful of things that I want to improve on and I plan to improve on over the span of these next, this next year, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> the next span of months, no, this next year, this whole year. I really want to continue improving throughout the whole year. and not stop and not look back either so 
some things that I really want to improve on is doing a bit more portraits. I tend to make a lot of full body pictures, so I really want to try and make more portraits this year. I also, like I said in my previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the right hand corner, I mentioned that I struggle with anatomy and proportions. There's that, and then I also want to do better about drawing from life more. So occasionally I want to try and just look at an object, draw it, so I can get comfortable. And I can get comfortable with drawing things that I don't tend to see very often. And finally, I think the biggest thing for me is I want to make it a point to remind myself that I want to finish pieces, but they don't have to be perfect. I tend to hear this phrase a lot, finish not perfect, Blech. finish not perfect. And for me, I want this to be, I want to constantly remind myself of that because I have a tendency to, when I draw, I want something to be perfect, no errors, and so forth. And so I tend to take a lot longer on completing pieces because I want the finished piece to be perfect. But again, finish not perfect is going to be a constant reminder for me that, you know, that isn't always the case doesn't have to be perfect but you want to finish it so in general I want to work on finishing pieces a little bit quicker <laughs> so in general what I have planned to make sure that I improve these things that I want to improve is I'm actually taking a drawing class right now I've actually taken some in the past but it's been a long time since I've taken another traditional one. So I thought it'd be great in order to hone my proportioning and accuracy like I want. And then I try and also every time that I start to draw, I do a warm up or I do a study of another artist and I practice a little and then I get into what I'm drawing and then finally I have my study challenges which are basically going to be something that I'm studying over the span of the whole month so it gives me time to study whatever it is that I want to get better at drawing so for example this month's study challenge is actually shoes so hence why in this particular piece the girl she has these crazy shoes because I wanted to get better at drawing shoes because I I don't know what it what it is with shoes sometimes for me but they just they just don't work out all the time so I I want to work on that so at the end of this month you'll actually see you'll actually see some of my clips of my studies of shoes and then I'll also share my thought processes about that. Each video at the end of the month is going to be based upon my study and there will be one for each month. So this month is shoes and next month is actually going to be couples since it's February and Valentine's Day and so on and so on and so on. So there'll be a different study every month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this explanation for my plans. I'm really excited to be doing all this. I wanted to talk about my plans for this year because it's one of those things as an artist that is really, I feel is a really good thing to do. So if you're not sure of what you want to do, then just think of, you know, little things that you want to improve on or 
things in your art that you want to do and haven't gotten around to doing and just make it your plans for this year doesn't matter how big or how small as long as you do it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget that hashtag Janny colors shows up at the end of this video I give you a new set of color palettes each week so that you can use for whatever art projects you might have going on and hey if one of your art plans for this year is to work on coloring things more well I have a ton of color palettes here for you guys to use woohoo so this month oh not this month this week's Danny colors color palette is sunset squirrel I guess I was thinking about my my pet squirrel when I was making this color palette but sunset squirrel is sunset squirrel will be featured at the end of this video as well as there being a link in the description for all the previous and current color palettes and you can find them on my blog on my website which will also be linked in the description so there's plenty of links down there pick one and get lost <laughs> but anywho thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.